Hello everyone and welcome to a really cool video about a lot of new players are kind of struggling with in Season 1, which is troops, because obviously in Season 1 you have a troop count and in Season 2 a lot of people get surprised when the troop count does increase. So don't worry, I'm going to give you guys some tips and tricks on how you early game wise can actually benefit and train your troops correctly to benefit yourself in Season 2. Hello, special like, comment, and subscribe for more daily Color Dragons videos. And before we go into everything, I'm going to give you guys straight away tips, tips, tips. So, how to train better. Firstly, make sure you are in the correct alliance. Yes, it might sound crazy, but your alliance might not be the correct one. And even though you're in the number one alliance like I am, we do not basically train troops here. We jump into another alliance. We jump into our allies G.O.D. And the reason why is pretty simple. Behemoths and behemoths and runes kind of work hand in hand. These are ways for you on the map to reduce your training speed, right? I want to talk about it straight away because a lot of players miss this. So Giant Bear here, for example, is giving us 3% training speed. So what we're doing is jumping into G.O.D. We've already gained 3% extra training speed, which is nice. Obviously, the better behemoths you get, they could have better training speed buffs. Just remember that. It's just It increases the stronger or better the um, bear is, right? But when we look in even further and we go to like our Craig here, you're going to see runes, right? These are different types of runes you can get. These are dropped by killing the little rune guards that are around your area. You can get all sorts, but you can also get training speed. So just imagine if you go into the correct alliance with the training speed rune and the training speed behemoths, you're going to be actually more effective at training troops. So just make sure you're doing that. The last thing you need to make sure you've done is your war tech. Your war tech does give you conscription two, which is 10% as well as your conscription at the beginning, which is just naturally 10%, right? So you've got your training here. So make sure you've got all of these maxed out and then you're good to go. So you're in season one now. And the question is, how do I train troops? So if you're in season one, it's pretty simple. If you're a brand new account, you know, you're fresh, you're gonna have tier one units, right? So what I did and what a lot of players do is train tier one units only. And by training tier one units only, it will make a lot of sense because if we just speed up one of these bad boys for you guys, so you can just see for the video, you're gonna see tier one units for a maxed out, as you can see, without any runes right now, it's four hours and 19 minutes at 1400, right? If this was a level 25 building, it'd be a little bit longer, but this gives you a good idea on how many troops it's gonna, or, or how much time it takes to train this amount of troops, right? If you compare this to your tier three unit, it's 17 hours and 17 minutes. And if you look at like your archers, it's eight hours. Um, on tier 2 and then 23 hours for tier 4. So you can see the time increases over, right? So what you're trying to do with your account is actually make sure you're not realistically hitting 23 hours unless you're in my predicament like now and you've done all of your troops and you're doing daily grind on the troop training, right? So what you want to do is honestly train tier one units. It sounds crazy, I know, but train as much of these guys as you can. You don't want to use speed ups, you just want to train them. So you want to hit this train button and let them cook so imagine for this um, video don't do what i'm about to do but imagine now time has passed right we've gone we've done our dragon trials we've done some events we might be fighting in a war we might have gone to work in real life who knows right we might have done a lot of different stuff but the notification has popped up and that notification is our unit's are done so boom they're done right so now what we'll do again train we'll just train these units right and we'd keep doing this and doing this and doing this until our war tech hit tier three and the reason why i'm saying this is because what you can do then is pretty simple you can promote these units by hitting 
the little arrow up at the top and this is by clicking the tier one unit. Do not click the tier three or tier four unit, right? You want to click the tier one unit and then hit the blue arrow. This will promote that tier one into your highest one. So you can see here, it's going to automatically promote mine into the tier four units, which is fine. It's great, right? And it's the fact that like it's reduced the time. So you can see it's reduced the time by four hours. And I'm saying this is important because now, can you imagine tier three? So if you've trained your archers and you keep training tier one archers, you unlock tier three. Now, instead of costing you over 17 hours to train new tier three, it's only gonna cost you 12 hours worth of speed ups to upgrade. And that's what I would do. I would then start using my speed ups that I've been earning and accumulating throughout the season all the way up to this point because I would not have been using any speed ups on training until I have hit the um, tier three units. Then I would promote all of these guys into tier three which is amazing because then it would allow me to then promote again. So once I've got all of these tier three units, I'm going to be working towards my tier four units. And this is another big jump because you can imagine here for if we just put in 20 of these bad boys, it's 14 or 15 minutes. If we look for these guys, it's 19 minutes. You can see already there's a five minutes are added on on that time. But... This, since we are training or promoting our tier ones into tier threes, and then we unlock our tier fours, we can now promote our tier threes into tier fours and check out the difference. And that difference is five minutes. So now I'm only using five minutes worth of speed ups for my tier threes for tier four units. And that is by using my promote system correctly, promoting from tier one, to tier three and then to tier four. And as you can see, I am telling you to skip. Yes, skip Archer two, there's no point to it. It means if you train these guys for the 20 you could have trained here, I could have trained 40 worth of tier ones. I can train double the amount. And that's what's the key is here is training the bare minimal as much as you can and then pushing that with speed ups and then pushing that further. So by doing that, I hope you guys have understood now how to effectively upgrade your units. And by upgrading those units, you should be already in a better position, right? So now I'm gonna give you guys the next tip because you guys have probably enjoyed that segment. I've enjoyed it, obviously. We're gonna be going into season one and season two. Since season one, everyone has 150,000 troops and a lot of players might have only just started to get those troops. And the reason why a lot of players only started getting those troops is because they kinda use their speed ups on all of the different troops, right? You guys want more infantry so you can tank. You want more archers so you can do more raid damage. You want more mages so you can do PVP. You want more cabs because you want more cabs for some reason, right? But you can see my point. But in the early game, especially season one, for a free two player player and low spender, I would tell you one thing and one thing only, honestly. Pick one unit. <laughs> pick one unit, guys. Just pick one unit. It's easy, right? If you're going to be in Season 1 and you've picked League of Order, you're a mage player. So guess what? Only use your speed ups on mages. And what, what you're going to do is basically follow my strategy. You're going to train those troops and you're going to promote those troops, right? Once you've done all your promotions, what you're going to have is all your troops at tier 3 or tier 4, right? So then you're going to be training like I am. You're going to be doing the daily train grind. But when there is an event on that you want to participate in, this is where you would pick your mages and only speed up mage. Only literally train these guys up. That's how, if you look at my legion counts, even though if we just, just to showcase that we do have some guys in the hospital right now, if we go and actually check out my legion count, you can see I'm already at nearly 500,000 worth 
of my archers because I was an archer main last season. This season, guess what? I'm a cavalry main and I've literally got nearly 400k ranged cav and after these guys get healed, this is over 400,000 flying cav, right? So we have so much cav we've been able to train and this is why we've been able to do it because we choose a troop type. So next season, maybe when the brand new, maybe infantry heroes come out or maybe the brand new mage heroes come out, who knows what the next heroes are gonna be. But whatever those seasons are gonna be in those new heroes, guess what? I'm gonna play those troops. I'm just gonna be literally maximizing as many of those troops as I can. And it allows me to prioritize my troops nice and easy and grow my account really quickly as well. Because you'd be surprised at how quick you'll grow and be able to get, you know, I've got 1.1 million merits already from just dueling all the time and fighting. You're gonna be able to do that type of stuff with the amount of troops you have by training effectively. So I hope that guy uh, helps you guys. This is brand new update to training. There might be a lot of basics and I know a lot of guys in the comments like surely people know this but guess what they don't. They don't right and uh, this is the one thing that I think a lot of players like yourselves have been asking for. I've been writing them down. I've got a little suggestion board across the room and I've been writing every suggestion down and I've been trying to cover them over the weeks as you guys hopefully can see. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. All the new players, I hope you've learned today how to train your troops correctly. Upgrade and promoting those troops from tier one to tier three and tier four is the best way to actually gain power as well as to even gain points in events. It gives you the most efficiency, it gives you the most time saved and resources. So with all that said, Smash like, comment, and subscribe for more daily Call of Dragons videos. My name's Mr. Sneaker, an official Call of Dragons video uh, content creator. We've nearly hit 4,000 subs as of this recording, which is insane. Like, I didn't think we'd hit over 4,000 subs in the first year. But thank you for all of you guys supporting the channel. And honestly, without you guys supporting the channel, showcasing all the love that you guys do, I wouldn't be able to do this as a full-time job. So thank you very much. Thank you for all the support. And until the next video, guys, stay safe, stay sneaky. Peace out.